Hello there and welcome to my channel. So yesterday, or was it two days ago, uh, I got one of the replies that was kind of a funky, so I'm just gonna read it to you. The guy says, oh right, privacy. Then you go to install Chrome and boom, everything you type is recorded and logged to a mega corporation. I mean, for the guy is on YouTube and he talks about privacy, what a joke. Another thing is that and then he lost the rest of his uh, sentence, right? Uh, so I just want to tackle this a little bit. So all of us uh, free software enthusiasts who are doing any content on YouTube, obviously this sounds like a wrong thing to do, right? And if you take Richard Stallman, for example, he is an example of like a pure breed. Uh, he's a guy who will never budge like a millimeter or an inch or whatever. Uh, when it comes to his stance on what free software is, right? And he will never use anything that's not uh, like a pure blood free software. He just won't do that. And he will not publish any of his content on any of the platforms that feature non-free content. So, of course, you will never see uh, Richard Talman uh, voluntarily uploading anything to YouTube, uh, not even making an account on anything that, that has like uh, terms of use, right? Okay, so where am I exactly going with this? Uh, the thing is, I have three channels. You're watching one of my three channels. The other ones are Odyssey and Peertube. Peertube is hosted locally on my own server. Uh, Odyssey is Odyssey. And the thing is that if you look uh, two two videos in reverse, I have had something like 2000 views on my video. If you go to my Peertube channel, you will see that I have like eight views. And I I'm gonna tell you, I really do advertise my Peertube channel a lot, especially on Mastodon where uh, a lot of Peertube um, fans are. And if you go to my Odyssey channel, you will see that I have something like five views. If you want to, I, I wouldn't use the word teach, uh, but if you want to uh, spread the word of uh, open source and free software uh, to the general public, you must go where the public is. If you advertise your church uh, only where you think your church should be, then nobody will come and nobody, nobody will hear of your talk, uh, if, if that's a good way to put it, right? You need to go where people are. So if people are only on YouTube, you may be able to convert some of these people to watch your content outside of YouTube, and this is perfectly fine for me. Uh, I like to see views on any of my channels, but if I would be only on Peertube, uh, which is like the purest of all of these three, then what would my content be for and who would it be for? It would it would only be for people who are only al already uh, understanding the uh, benefits of free software, right? I think the comment that I got doesn't make too much sense. It makes sense uh, from a certain perspective, uh, but all of that is stupid. It's just stupid because if he is really into uh, free software and privacy and he wants to watch my content, he is free to watch it outside of YouTube. I really don't mind and I want him to go there and to watch my content there. I want him to lower my views count on YouTube and increase it on the other side. But then again, if we want Linux to do better, if you want to see Linux to be more broadly adopted. And if we want to spread the word of Linux, I think we need to be where the people are. I'm gonna see you in the next video.